The man charged with brutally murdering two Dothan teens appeared in court just days before he goes to trial. 23 years after the shootings of two Dothan teens, Coley McCraney's case is about to be in the jury's hands. In a moment, we'll be joined by News 4's Ken Curtis. But first, Ken with McCraney's day in court. Coley McCraney met by his wife Jeanette and his attorneys as he arrived at the Dale County Courthouse. Inside that courthouse, those attorneys and prosecutors sparred over evidence. McCraney, One contentious trial, issue, the Mazda 929, in which police found J.B. Beasley's and Tracy Hollett's bodies in 1999. Attorneys David Harrison and Andrew Scarborough wondering why Ozark Police allowed that vehicle to be destroyed, telling Judge William Fillmore had it not been, perhaps they could find the real killer. Fillmore unswayed by that argument. Prosecutor David Emery accused the defense of raising a needless ruckus. Emery assuring the judge he has shared all evidence with the defense. McCraney not arrested until 2019 when police say DNA linked him to the crime scene. A jury selection for this trial begins on August 8th. The actual testimony and opening arguments expected Carmen the following week. Oh, it says vastly approaching, Ken. Mm. What are prosecutors and these defense attorneys relying on to get a verdict to, to come about in their favor? Well, certainly the prosecutors are, 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 are counting on that DNA. Uh, and I don't think the defense will argue that the DNA is not accurate. I think what they'll try to do is swing uh, toward someone else uh, the possibility that they, and not Coley McCraney, uh, could be the killer. This is very fascinating stuff. I know you've been covering this for quite some time. What's the biggest obstacle that everyone in this case is facing here? Well, certainly the biggest obstacle, at least uh, the first one, is finding 12 jurors who do not have knowledge of this case. Right. You know, if you know about the case, you've read about the case, you can't serve on the jury. That doesn't mean you have never heard anything about it, mm -hmm. uh, but, but you can't have a great deal of knowledge. And with the publicity this has received in the past 23 years, there's not a lot of people around here that have not heard about the murder of those teenagers back in 1999. The anniversary of that this weekend on Saturday, 23 years since uh, J.B. Beasley and Tracy Hallett left to go to that party. And the next day, 23 years ago, their bodies found. Very chilling stuff there, Ken. Well, we always appreciate your time, and mm -hmm. uh, we look forward to more coverage of this case. Another hearing. We thought this might be the last one. Mm -hmm. There's another hearing next week All right, well, on Thursday. We look forward to that. Thanks.